Welcome back to the lounge. Today we're talking about everyday carry bags. In this video, we're going over seven different bags from seven different brands. And the bags featured today are primarily focused on over the shoulder uh, messenger or briefcase style of bags. But we'll have plenty of uh, different styles and sizes. And I'll start first with the Filson original briefcase, which is an old standard as far as briefcases go. The Filson brief measures 16 inches across, 12 and a half inches high, and four inches deep, which is about 13 liters of capacity. It weighs three pounds and five ounces. The brief is primarily made out of tin cloth and bridal leather. The tin cloth is slightly waxed and offers durability and water resistance. Then the handle, the strap, the reinforcements are all made from bridal leather. And when the bag first arrives, the leather is quite stiff. This bag is about six years old. It eventually breaks in. And then the hardware components are all metal or antique brass, including uh, the buttons, the zipper, and the strap attachment. So as far as uh, external features go, we've got two full width stow pockets, uh, one on the front, which contains a key hook, and then pretty much the same thing on the back side. And then there's a flap over the main compartment and the main zipper line um, is, is metal, as I said. The, the flap has this leather and button closure mechanism. Um, and then the bag also comes with a bridal leather strap. So let's get into the internals of this thing. The main compartment on this bag has a big toothy zipper. Now it can feel a little grabby, but that's just sort of what you get with these big metal zippers. Um, and then notice the leather strips on either side of the zipper line. Inside, the briefcase has two internal dividers here. Um, these would fit tablets or notebooks, uh, smaller laptops. The one on the front right here is bare. And then the one on the back has an additional storage panel, uh, a couple open pockets here, one, two, a spot for some pens and then one smaller pocket on the front here. So the original brief is a favorite for many. Filson has a strong heritage behind it. 125 years is a long time to be stitching stuff together. This is a bag that is versatile, has a wide range of uses, uh, including work, travel, everyday carry. Um, it doesn't look out of place in a boardroom meeting or in the seat of a hay truck. One thing I don't uh, like terribly are the handles. They're just a little big, um, a bit floppy. I suppose you get used to them, but they are uh, a bit in the way when the bag uh, is across your body and your shoulder. They can impede access into the bag. So this isn't, this isn't a flashy tech bag. It's got a very straightforward, timeless design. And it's made of these high quality materials um, all around, which is a design approach that I, that I really appreciate. All of that comes with a cost though. It's going to be the most expensive bag we look at today. The Filson Brief costs $4.95 and comes with a lifetime guarantee. And next up in our showcase of top EDC bags, we've got the Tom Ben Sidekick. The Sidekick measures 9.6 inches across seven and a half inches tall and 2.8 inches deep. Uh, it weighs just 9.4 ounces. It's a lightweight option with a three liter capacity for essential items, including small tablets. The Sidekick is constructed from a ballistic nylon on the exterior and then a 200D Hylison for the interior. It has metal zippers and plastic shoulder attachments. Uh, as far as external features go, it has a zippered pocket on the front with that Hallison interior, and then it's got an O-ring with an eight inch key strap. 
Uh, this offers easy access to your phone, your wallet, your keys. And in addition to that, it's got a removable shoulder strap. The main compartment opens up into seven open pockets here. You've got um, a back panel that is just essentially a large open pocket on the front of which includes uh, two more open pockets, one and two, and then a couple uh, spot for pins. Uh, on the other side are two half width open pockets. Um, in addition to that, you've got four O-ring attachments, one, two, and three, four. Um, these can be used to attach additional Tom Bin gear. The compact size of this bag makes it an excellent choice for those who need a small, organized space for their daily essentials. It's a versatile bag, a compact solution for anyone on the move, and it can function as a crossbody bag, an organizer pouch, uh, even a sling bag or a waste pack with the proper attachments. Now the Sidekick stands in stark contrast to the Filson Brief we just looked at in terms of size, appearance, and materials. Uh, it's a bit ordinary in appearance. Uh, it doesn't get a ton of style points for me, but if you're looking for a small compact bag, especially under hundred bucks, this is not a bad option to go with. The Tom Ben Sidekick comes in at 78 bucks and comes with a Tom Ben satisfaction guarantee. Okay, next up is this guy. This is the, what is this called? This is the Cadet Max Sling from Chrome Industries. Are we good with that? Are we good with that? <laughs> sure, let's go with it. Now, it's advertised as a sling, but functions a lot like a shoulder bag and uh, decided to include it in today's video for that reason. The Cadet Max is about 15 inches across, 11 and a quarter inch tall, and has a depth of about five inches. This amounts to approximately 15 liters of total capacity. It weighs 1.6 pounds and will fit 15 inch laptops. This bag comes in a 210D recycled nylon laminated sailcloth and then a polyester twill on the bottom. Uh, as far as external features go, there is on the front here an almost full width zippered pocket. And then inside are two open pockets in addition to a key ring. Um, and then we've got expansion adjusters on either side of the bag for additional capacity. And somewhere on here, a stabilizer strap. And of course, it comes with Chrome's iconic seat belt buckle on the shoulder strap. Then there is a, uh, what is this? This is a cargo strap at the bottom of the bag for just extra carrying capacity. And then at the top of the bag, a handle. The hardware on here is gonna be mostly plastic with the exception of the buckle. And it comes with YKK zippers. The main compartment is accessed by this aqua guarded zipper line. And the body of the bag is really easy to open up. It opens up nice and wide. Inside, there's a padded 15 inch laptop sleeve on the back, and it's made from a very soft fleece-like material. And then on the front panel, there are two large open pockets here. On the front of those, you've got a stretchy open pocket, followed by two pen holders here, and then another open pocket. Uh, finally, on the side gusset, we've got a stretchy water bottle holder. So the Cadet Max is going to sit a bit differently on your back due to its sling-like design. Um, and the one downside is that the bag only works over the left shoulder uh, and isn't ambidextrous, but it packs a lot of capacity in a bag with a slim profile and one that is lightweight. Uh, so all in all, the Max Sling is large. Uh, it's a versatile bag, great for carrying your tech. It's comfortable, super light, with the exception of the buckle. And it's the lightest bag of the day on a pound per liter comparison. 
A couple more critical things I, uh, I noticed is that the material is, um, this, this sailcloth material, it's thin, it's crinkly, sort of feels like a tarp. It's not super pleasant to the touch. Um, and one thing I wanted to do immediately with this bag was remove the stabilizer strap, but was not able to do so. But all in all, I have to say, I think Chrome did an excellent job with this bag. Um, I know it's blown up right now, but it actually condenses to a pretty dang slim profile. Um, it's easy to use, it's easy to carry, uh, it has a great design and has plenty of storage options. If you like the look and style, this is a bag worth checking out. The Cadet Max Sling comes in at 130 bucks and comes with a lifetime guarantee. Next in the lineup, the 10 buck two Commute Messenger Bag 2.0. The dimensions on this guy are 15 across, 13.4 inches tall and 4.3 inches deep. It's designed to fit laptops up to 15 inches and it has a 14 liter capacity that weighs 2.8 pounds. This messenger is made from nylon, primarily with a water resistant bottom. The interior is made from a wipeable liner and the majority of the hardware on here is plastic. The external features on this thing, um, the bag has a two buckle closure system. The front flap actually has Velcro underneath and that can be engaged by removing the silencer straps. And then on the front face are two zippered, uh, two zippered pockets. We've got one that is horizontal and that contains a key tether. And then the vertical one just right here on the side, uh, it's just a nice slip pocket for your smaller items. And then moving to back of the bag, there's a compartment for your tech along with a zippered luggage pass-through. There's two zippers down here that can be opened. There's your pass-through. Um, and then the bag comes with a removable shoulder strap that's padded right here. And uh, it can be easily converted from a shoulder bag into a briefcase with a nice grab handle at the top. Okay, so the main compartment has an internal storage sleeve for a laptop and then two large stretchy organizational pockets that sit on front of the sleeve. The inside, as I said earlier, has this wipeable liner for spill protection. And then we've got in front of the main compartment, another storage compartment that I imagine would be good for, um, for, for notebooks, for papers, and other large items you wanna keep separated from the main compartment. And as I'm doing this, I'm realizing I actually lied to you earlier. There are some metal hardware components. The strap attachments are made from some kind of metal. So uh, as I was saying, moving to the back of the bag, you've got a zippered uh, compartment for your tech. And it's just a simple, slightly padded a place to fit your laptop. But Tim Book 2 describes this bag as their most comprehensive and ambitious laptop messenger bag for work and for travel. And I would tend to agree with that. This bag seems especially well suited for work and for carrying your laptop. The bag functions well as both a shoulder bag and as a briefcase, as I said. Now where I think this bag falls short is accessibility. All of the other bags today can be accessed quickly from the closed position while it's on your body, but not so much this one. It's just not a fast bag. And for an everyday bag, um, I like one that's easy to get into, one that provides some kind of quick access capabilities. Uh, but with that being said, this bag does offer a lot in terms of organization. And for a bag of its size, it's quite affordable. The Commute Messenger Bag is priced at $149 and has a two-year warranty. Bag number five for the day is my personal EDC bag, the Nutsack Satchel 13. The Satchel 13 measures 13 inches across, nine inches tall, and three and a half inches wide. It has a total volume of seven liters. It weighs just under two pounds, making it a compact, yet adequately sized option for your daily essentials 
including 13 and 14 inch laptops. The satchel is crafted from uh, water resistant wax canvas uh, and high quality pull up leather accents. It comes with metal hardware and YKK zippers. As far as external features go, the face of this bag has a strap and post closure mechanism along with some small magnets on the front flap that just give the bag its, its clean look and help to keep the flap snug against the face of the bag. There's then a full width zippered pocket underneath that front flap. It's just great for storing um, quick access items like your phone, your wallet, your keys. And it comes with a removable padded mesh strap. And then finally, the grab handle at the top. Internally, the Satchel 13 is straightforward and intuitive. It's set up with two six inch front pouches suitable for glasses or chargers, external hard drives, that type of thing. And then on the back panel is a full width zippered pocket, uh, just to stash items you want more secured like your passport. So the Satchel 13 is ideal for professionals, uh, for travel, uh, tech enthusiasts, or if you just want a good looking everyday bag. The Satchel 13 can comfortably house your mobile tech um, up to a MacBook 14. And what's really great about this bag, uh, it's just highly functional and a great addition to any EDC collection. As far as materials go, it's almost unmatched um, with some of the highest quality materials you can get your hands on. The aesthetic is rugged, it's handsome. Uh, it's a no brainer for an EDC bag. And it's a really easy bag to use, which is why I love carrying the Satchel 13. I can get quick access to all of my gear. Um, it's not overbuilt with a bunch of unnecessary pockets. So everything is, is easy to find and right where it needs to be. It's also, a bag that's just a really great size uh, for everyday carry. It's smaller than a standard uh, briefcase or a messenger bag, but bigger than a waist pack or pouch. Now, if you want a bag specifically for a large item like a 15 inch laptop, then you might have to size up to the Satchel 15. But if not, the Satchel 13 size is kind of perfect. The bottom line with this bag is that there, there just aren't many like it and it will be one of your favorites guaranteed. The Satchel 13 comes in at 179 and comes with a lifetime guarantee. All right, moving on to our next bag. This is the Tom Talk Urban EX T20 shoulder bag. This fella measures 12 inches across, nine inches tall and two inches deep, which is about three and a half liters of capacity and suitable for 11 inch tablets. The materials on this shoulder bag uh, is crafted from a water resistant uh, 1680D Cordura ballistic nylon and features waterproof YKK zippers. As far as external features go, the front face here is completely bare, save this TomTok logo. On the back is a full width, uh, zippered quick access pocket there's, um, and it's just bare, just an open pocket. And then there's a rubber handle at the top. And of course it comes with a padded shoulder pad that is not removable. This bag is broken out into two separate zippered compartments. The front compartment houses uh, an elastic uh, zippered pouch on one side right here that goes down about uh, halfway down the bag. And then on the other side is a full width pocket. On the front are uh, some additional elastic open pockets. We've got an open pocket here, uh, two pin panels right here, or two spots to put a pin, and then an additional open pocket on the other side. And then to wrap things up, there is a red uh, key tether. Now in the other compartment, uh, I should mention that this, this one is Aqua Garden. Uh, it's designed specifically for the iPad Air and other similar size tablet. It has a full width 
um, pocket here to, to place your tech. And it's kind of made from this neoprene-like material. And then opposite of that are two uh, two open pockets to store your uh, your tech accessories, your mouse, your chargers, your cables, that kind of a thing. I think this bag is a good choice for everyday carry, especially those who are on a budget. And it's a similar size to the Satchel 13 that we just looked at, but has a very different aesthetic and takes a different approach to design. It's quick and easy to use, and it's dedicated compartment for uh, tablets Make it ideal for anyone with an iPad. Now this bag isn't gonna blow you away in terms of quality or materials, but then again, you're not spending a ton of money on this bag. The Urban EX T20 comes in at a very affordable 50 bucks and has a two year warranty. And the last bag of the day is the Peak Design Everyday Messenger. This brand is mostly known for its photography gear but I'll be looking at this bag from an everyday carry perspective. Its dimensions are 16 inches across, 12 inches tall, and five inches deep. It has a minimum capacity of 13 liters. It can expand up to 16 liters and hold up to a 14 inch laptop. The Everyday Messenger is made from a waterproof 400D nylon canvas shell, and uh, the base is lined with a 900D waterproof material. And then the interior is lined with a high-vis gray nylon. All the hardware on here, um, all the hardware on here, all the hardware on here is made from aluminum. Now, the key features on the exterior of this bag includes Peak Designs, uh, iconic mag latch closure system, um, in addition to an expandable main compartment, and there are also these uh, small side stash pockets with uh, waterproof zips um, on both sides of the bag. And it's got, uh, it's got an adjustable padded shoulder strap with an optional crossbody attachment. And then on the back, there's a luggage pass-through. Um, and then finally, the handle up at the top. Moving to the inside, there is a small uh, stash pocket next to the main compartment. It's, uh, it has an aqua guarded zipper line, and there are some additional small pouches in here. You can put USB drives, batteries, um, that kind of a thing. And then directly underneath the flap is one more small pocket. You can just stuff your small essentials in here. So on the back panel of the main compartment is a sleeve for a 14 inch laptop that includes a magnetic divider. On the front of that is a Velcro panel, um, primarily to be used with Peak Designs inserts to organize camera gear. And then on the gussets and the sides here, there are two uh, stretchy pockets, one on each side, that you can uh, use for additional storage or perhaps a water bottle. So as I briefly alluded to, this bag primarily stands out as a photography bag with focus on access, organization, and expansion. But it's also quite suitable for travel and for everyday use. This bag has some really slick features. The quick adjusting shoulder strap is smooth, and the quick access pockets on the side are really convenient. Uh, plus, it's a comfortable fit on the body, which is really important. Now, like many camera bags, you need depth. Um, if I'm looking at this uh, strictly as an everyday bag, this translates into a bit of a bulky design, especially with all of the stiffeners used in here. Um, additionally, the lack of internal organization may be problematic for some for this purpose as well. The Everyday Messenger is priced at about 230 bucks and comes with a lifetime warranty. Okay, that's a wrap for today. Links to everything will be in the description. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.